Hey guys, I'm going to try to do a really short empties video because I just have a couple of things I want to share with you. So if you're interested in my trash, hang on. So I never have a lot of trash. I really don't. I, um, but the things that I'm going to mention to you are things that I really love that I bought over and over again. And I'll probably start with the Sweet Spot. And this is the Vanilla Blossom. I love this. They also have wipes. I love the wipes. I love the sweets. I You can get this at Target. I'm not sure if you can get it in Walmart. I've never seen it there. But you can get this locally. I have bought it off of Amazon. I bought it a number of times. I think the first person that ever talked about this was Tammy, Ageless Beauty. And I love this. I bought it. I highly recommend it. You know, women have sensitive areas. What can I say? The second thing that I bought, and I bought this over and over again, is this Nip and Fab Exfoliate. I got this. This is glycolic. And it comes with these foaming pads. This is great for traveling. And I bought this... I don't know, I think TJ Maxx or Marshalls, and I bought it a couple of times. They are very, very affordable. Recently, I was sent some Saturday Skin 10% Glycolic Pore Control Complex. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was sent this from Saturday Skin via the Octoly Network in exchange for a review, complimentary. And I love this. So what I did, rather than throw this out, I, I put some pads in here. I wet them. I closed it up. And instead of taking the glass with me or the bottle with me, I just took this. I closed it up really well. I went to Nashville. I was able to use it on my skin. I I love this stuff, absolutely. But repurposing this container to put it in for travel made a whole lot of sense. And if you guys are in TJ Maxx or Marshalls and you see Nip and Fab, grab it. It is a great, great glycolic, I think, you know, uh, foaming cleanser. The other thing that I've repeatedly bought, and this is the NYX, this is the Dewy Finish. This is the setting spray. I know there's alcohol in it. I don't know if it's the good or the bad. I don't know, don't care. I put this on my face after I have all my makeup on, and it's, I mean, I have my makeup, my foundation, my sunblock, my everything, and I spray this on top. So it's gonna take a heck of a lot for any alcohol or anything negative to go through. I happen to think it's the good alcohol, but don't hold me to that. But I love this setting spray. I actually have a little travel size. Not that this isn't travel size. You certainly could bring it. I like this a lot better than any of the other setting sprays that I have tried. I really do like this. I happen to like hydrating, anti-aging infusion sprays, especially in summer and camping season. I'm always having, I'm always having a spray. I've used the Timeless spray. I've used the Skin Diva spray. I've used a very expensive spray. And it, the moisture surge on my skin is just fabulous. So Skin Diva, the Timeless one, and there might be a couple of other companies that have them that are extremely affordable. Go for it. Buy it. You know, you'll love it. Your skin will love it. I live in New England, so we have very dry, very dry air. And most of you know I, I love my Buxom. So when I talk about lip gloss high end, it's been Buxom for a long time. I'm all out of Buxom now. This is the last of it. This is in my trash. And it'll be, it'll have to be a sale or something super that I end up buying it again. Because I find so many other products that work just as nice. City Lips, for example, I love their lip gloss. Nothing ever really plumps my lips up. If it does yours, that's awesome sauce. But for me, nothing really plumps it up. So I'm looking at a gloss. I'm looking at how my lips feel, and my Buxom has always been my favorite high-end, and I've bought several of them, but at this point in time, I don't see much difference between my Buxom and the hard candy gloss that I use, and certainly the City Lips gloss that I use. I don't, I don't see much difference, so sorry, Buxom, as much as I love you, is not going to happen. The other thing I finished, too, was my It Brow Power. I'm not replacing it. I like this a lot. I don't think it, 
I, I always have to put a little bit of a gel on top of my brows anyways, and I've been using a couple of different brow things that I like just as much, so this is not worth the money for me. I also use my Avon Glimmer Sticks on the brow, and I like that a lot. I have one here that I finished off. I still have, these are so affordable. I still have like two or three of them in backup, so I like these pencils a lot. And then I have a Rimmel. It fell out. It goes in. I don't like it. I'm trashing it. But this is the Rimmel Exaggerate. This is the black eyeliner. I just could never make this work the right way. And then I'm down to a little stump on my... <laughs> this is the Urban Decay. Down to a little stump. I'm not going to buy any more Urban Decay. I have a number of liners that are Urban Decay. I like them. I think they're... They're awesome, but I don't think that for the price point that they're any better than, say, the Sephora pencil or my Ulta pencils. I really don't, so I'm not going to, not going to, you know, buy it. Other things that I bought, repeat buy. I ended up finishing another Kleenex, Kleenex Zero. I really like this. I bought this one. It's probably my third one that I'm on now. Um, and hand soaps. Now, of course... Do I wish this was antibacterial, given the coronavirus that's going on at the time of this filming? But it's not. But I buy these, and I buy them, I stockpile them. I probably have about eight or nine of these, and they're in every sink in my house. I have all these different flavors. I really like them. Right now, next to this is the antibacterial that I have. But these are super affordable. I get them at Bath & Body Works, especially when they have a sale. They're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I finally finished. And this is the Color Sign Science. They had sent me a PR package and they had sent these wipes. I finally finished them. I think the wipes were really nice. I enjoyed them. But truthfully, I just buy from Sam's Club the Members Mark wipes. It removes my makeup. I, I, I don't notice a difference between this and the more expensive one. So... That's just my opinion. The same thing with eye masks. I finished, you know, I, I went through the active layer. Um, I finished a ton. I didn't even save them all. I have a ton of sheet masks. And I have, Jenna Amber sends me sheet masks. I absolutely love her sheet masks. I got some awesome, probably my favorite, hands down, has been from City Beauty. They sent me a package of, of uh, sheet masks. I love those. They're hydrating. They're really great. I also have a number of eye masks. And I really like them. I really like this too. I really did. But, truth be told, a lot of my other eye masks I like equally as much. So, and I know there's many people that love, love, love this. I never really saw the, the results that anyone else saw, but then I'm always using eye masks anyway, so how would I know whether it's this or it's that, you know, because my eyes, I'm, I'm doing treatment. I just wanted to, I wanted to throw my trash away, is what I wanted to do. I wanted to share it and throw it away so I could say bye-bye to all this trash. I, it's not like I have a lot. I really don't, and what I have may not be of any, you know, major interest, but you know, the things that I've loved that I'm not rebuying because I think something in the drugstore works just as well as my own personal preference. Just my personal preference. Doesn't mean that, you know, it's not good anymore. It's just that dollar of a dollar and the results, the look on my lips, how it feels on my lips. If there's no dramatic difference, why? So, anyways, that's the scoop, guys. Uh, if you... You know, if you have any questions about any of the products, just let me know. And thank you all so much for joining me. And I am going, I'm hoping this is under 10 minutes. Woo-hoo. I think it is. But anyways, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate every single one of you. And if you happen to fall upon this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I truly appreciate it. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.